Hello dear Sagittarius, how are you all? Welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking and this is your March 1st to the 15th of 2020. It's a general and love Celtic cross that I'm doing for you today. We are in the time of Mercury retrograde so make sure with anything that is coming back from the past you've got a chance to redo it, any situation. We know that with Mercury Retrograde, we don't sign contracts, okay, situations come back from the past for clearing out. Now, Mercury is retrograding in the sign of Pisces, so there is confusion. Not a good time to start new things or even make decisions at this time until we have the clarity. All right, now, I will be doing astrology on a separate separate video this month so let's just look at the tarot Sagittarius please spirit first till the 15th of March 2020 let's take your cards the now position and this is the Morgan Greer tarot we've got the six of wands so finding your balance being quite successful in what you do we know that with the Six of Wands, it can speak of someone that is very popular. There is a strong popularity around this card. There is also success where business is concerned. There can be a little bit of ego here for those of you that could be dealing with um, maybe even a Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. Could be that you are dealing with a partner that is very successful with what they do. This could be for both of you actually as well success on you know uh with you where business is concerned and also success with the person that you're dealing with this is of course recognition what is the challenge the challenge is temperance and we know that temperance is sagittarius it is asking for patience we know that uh temperance is saying the challenge is to temper yourself do not have too much optimism here because when things go up they can come down so just be tempered in your approach some of you may be dealing with someone that could be from a distant place now logically temperance is Jupiter the angels uh, could be bringing in the blessings but sometimes you know when we're over optimistic that can be our downfall so just be temper yourself be patient whatever's uh, being worked out for you um, and in your situation know that it should show up give it time now temperance can also speak of healing so if you've been in a, a partnership whether it's business or love and there's been ego um, it's saying that to bring the notch down a little bit Let's see what your um, foundation shows. Nine of Cups, the Wish card. The Wish card, okay. Recent past, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, busy, busy. Busy but also trying to make a decision on something that makes you very happy emotionally. We do have emotions, we do have desire here as well. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. Others of you could be dealing with a water sign, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What is your crowning area? We've got the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is someone who doesn't have um, ego. He's someone that is um, very open emotionally, but we do know that the Knight of Cups is very slow moving bringing in that cup. Some of you may be thinking of offering your cup to your beloved, but I see a little bit of pride and vanity here. This is the tenth cup. We've got nine cups and the tenth cup is here. Also the angel is holding another two, which means that it's going to take a little bit of time. You know, twelve cups does ring the hanging man. It's the time of Pisces, which we're in now. Also illusions, being disillusioned. Pisces can also mean unconditional love. 
is this um, the energy of Pisces? Let's take the near future, which will be around the 10th of the month. Seven of Pentacles, someone who is looking at a situation, they're pacing themselves, they've um, obviously offered and invested a lot here, but it is a moment of pause, just as I mentioned the hanging man. You know, we've got seven and two, nine pentacles. There, someone is uh, very strong. They're standing very strong financially, I would say, more than likely, more or less, looking at whether they want to, um, whether they're ready for taking that next step um, and moving into a commitment, or are they... Or is it only about business and there's no time for love, no time for commitments where relationships and true love is concerned? And we do have Earth here as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's look at the position of you, dear Sagittarius. And we've got the Knight of Rods. The Knight of Rods is Sagittarius. Knight of Rods is someone who's very free, free-spirited. They love to travel the world. That's why I'm thinking, are you actually ready to settle down, dear Sagittarius? Are you ready to offer this Ace of Cups and move into a commitment? It looks as though money holds a fair bit of importance in your life as well. Some of you could be dealing between an Earth sign, choosing between an Earth sign and another fire sign. Sun, moon or rising, of course. We know that the Knight of Rods is usually the player, someone who is driven by their desires, someone very creative. Both the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands are very creative. But the Knight of Rods is um, fire, okay? So fire is very quick to act, very spontaneous, whereas the Knight of Cups is a lot of thought, digging deep within emotions. So for those of you that are dealing with two different people, you're dealing with someone that's much more open emotionally, another person who's more about their desires and getting to from base A to omega in a, in a minute, if you know what I mean. Let's see what is in your environment. And we've got the Ten of Cups. So we go from the Nine to the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Happiness on all levels. There is a toast here. This seems as though um, both people are on the same page. We've got that um, rainbow in the background, which is a lot of luck. Now, dear Sagittarius, you are usually very lucky. You have got your ruling planet as Jupiter. I do see a lot of happiness here. This is the ending of some chapter and the beginning of a new. Why? Because the Ten of Cups always turns into that Ace, which is also the Ace of Cups that the Knight of Cups is holding right there. Now, if this is the same person in your life, the same person, right? Then this could be someone that's turning more emotional, ready to open up their heart. Let's see what your hopes and fears are. Eight of Pentacles, so we've got the Seven and the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the Virgo card for me. Nevertheless, this is Earth, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who is very skilled. This is a very busy time. Some of you may not have time um, because you've got a lot on your plate. Maybe not enough time now for love as work is taking, you know, first seat in your lives. Some of you may be hoping also to settle down. You know, we've got um, seven and eight. That's very earthy, um, very physical, and it's got a lot to do with, we've got, and I'm going to say seven and eight equal 15 pentacles. 15 does remind me of the devil, and the devil means obligations. Could even be restrictions. The time is restricted for you, dear Sagittarius. Now, I know that Jupiter is moving through the sign of Capricorn, so it's going through a lot of challenges. Some of you are trying to 
ground yourselves. You're trying to stable your lives, maybe even a career, but whatever these are, these um, challenges, they are trying to bring you into a more stable place and it is very Saturnian, so there's lessons. Let's see what the outcome is. And we've got the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is a number two. She holds the secrets close to her heart. She's the new moon goddess, which signifies new beginnings for me. The High Priestess sits between two pillars. She's trying to bring in the balance. She's also very spiritual. Now, dear Sagittarius, you may be dealing with someone that is very spiritual. Could be someone that deals with spirituality, anything to do with magic. Pisces Virgo is this card. She trusts her intuition. She can sense. She can sense things. She could also be a spiritual advisor in what, you know, what she deals with, what she does. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck and we've got the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles can speak of Libra. Libra to me speaks of relationships, equilibrium, equal giving and receiving. This could be a payout. For those of you that are in the spiritual occult business, this could be a good time where finances are concerned. What is beneath that? And we've got the Hermit. Again, we've got Virgo. And we've also got the Queen of Rods. And the Queen of Rods would be someone that's a bit more mature than the Knight of Rods. So there is an age difference. There is a maturity. Uh, there is a difference where maturity is concerned. Queen of Rods can be Leo for me mainly. The Hermit is someone who's gone into into the um, into seclusion looking for the answers looking into that lantern and again Virgo is all about crossing your uh, T's dotting your I's doing your homework spiritual connection the high priestess with the hermit do tend to communicate on another level now with the six of pentacles yes this can speak of coming into balance but this can also speak of karma for me. Why? Because what you've given out, it's time for you to receive, dear Sagittarius. This could also be a payout, anything legal that you may be dealing with. And we know that Sagittarius is also the law, as is Capricorn. Now, because there's a lot going on in the house of Capricorn, and it's very um, karmic what is going on, you may need you may be needing to pay your dues or pay, you know, give money out, be generous with others. If you can, do something generous, help, uh, uh, you know, some sort of a cause. Give the people that are less fortunate if you are in a fortunate place and that will come back to you tenfold, dear Sagittarius. Okay, this card could also speak of child support. For those of you that have separated or are in a divorce, if you've ended some sort of a cycle where you could not find any more happiness, you know, there is a time and a place for everything. Whatever starts must, must stop. There's always an ending. Could you be paying out money? Or for others of you, you could be receiving through legalities. Let's see what this Six of Wands is. And we've got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is Taurus. We know that the Hierophant can speak of commitments, marriage. It can also speak of having to do things by the book. This could also be success in a corporate environment. You've got choices. You've got two keys here. Now the Hierophant speaks of values, comforts, commitments. As I said, I feel as though you've got a um, you've got a lot on your plate here. Let's see. And again, the hierophant is very religious, all about religion, spirit, 
dogmas. Some of you may have been raised in a certain way, in a different way to your partner. You may be dealing with someone that has been raised differently to you and therefore the conditioning, the childhood conditioning can differ here and that's where the imbalance is. Let's take the temperance card. And I'm going to say that the Hierophant could be someone that sits on their throne. This is someone who ha is top dog, let's say. Someone who is the boss. Let's look at the temperance. And we've got the Six of Cups. And this is the Soulmate card. Your challenge is to come into balance where a soulmate connection is concerned. The challenge is also that if the divine is bringing back someone from your past, someone that you may, may even be a new person for some of you, and you may feel as though you've known them before, that would obviously be a soulmate connection. It could be someone from your childhood. The challenge is to find the balance and the challenge is to trust in what the divine is doing for you. You are sitting on the nine of cups. Let's have a look at that. And we've got the king of swords. King of swords is someone who is very strong, very intelligent, very strong minded, someone who doesn't hold back where communication is concerned. The King of Swords can also be a legal representative, a doctor. King of Swords could be someone that is also very different to the Nine of Cups. Someone who is driven, driven by their intellect. They will, whatever they think, they will speak. Whether it's painful or not, they're coming from a truthful place. Now, for others of you, this, because I'm not reading reversals, could this King of Swords be another side to you and you've been holding back on what your wish is? Let's take the next card. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Two, two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Now, some of you that are studying, maybe working and studying, uh, continuing your education, this is certification, this is success, you are being noticed that you are a multitasker, dear Serge. Three of Pentacles can also speak of uh, three different people in a situation. Five of Pentacles altogether means two people are not seeing the, the blessings, they're not seeing them. They have a sense of lack. Let's take that Knight of Cups. And we've got the Nine of Cups again. Dear Sagittarius, this is what's on your mind. Yes, you are going to go for your wish. Yes, you will be moving forward with um, this offer. Now, dear Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a water sign, hoping for them to offer you their cup, this will happen. You've got the Nine of Cups twice. Let's see, let's see. What's in the near future, which is around the 10th of the month? And we've got materialism. Yes, not surprising. Not at all surprising. Not at all. I did mention 15 pentacles, the devil, right? Here it is. Materialism. Some of you are addicted to work. You're addicted to manifesting on a physical level. And I did say to, um, to you before that some of you have got a lot on your plate. Now, the materialism, the devil, and the hierophant, very similar. Materialism can speak of a heavy burden. This can also sp speak of a fear of commitment. 
And what's interesting is that we've got that rainbow in the back in the near future and we've got the rainbow in your external. So I don't know why, but I feel that some of you may be on the cusp with Capricorn. Now, if you are dealing with someone else that's got their own uh, fears or restrictions or burdens, I think that this will be clearing. As I said, Saturn and Pluto will be mating. Now, of course, your ruling planet Jupiter does expand, so it's going to get bigger. The burden is going to get bigger before it gets any better, I believe. Let's look at the Knight of Rods here. This, you know, Saturn ruled uh, the devil card, is also saying, take it slowly. Do not rush into it, anything. Temper yourself. For some of you, this is a very strong connection, very strong, where there is a lot of magnetism, a lot of um, lusty energies here, a very strong sexual connection, strong, sexual and emotional and it can be very karmic. Let's look at the Knight of Rods. And we've got the Tower, which is Pluto. I was just talking about Pluto and a change. With the Tower here, this can also mean Uranus moving through the sign of Taurus. There is a sudden shift if your values are not on the same page. The Tower can also speak of freedom. The uh, Uranus does rule Aquarius. And Aquarius is the future, but it's also sudden, it's electrifying, it's someone that doesn't want to be restricted. But this is a sudden epiphany for this Knight of Wands. This is a sudden epiphany for you, dear Sagittarius. Let's take another card on that. And we've got strength. So whatever major shift or epiphany you're going through, realization, know that the strength card is asking for you. You are the one that can be empowered. You are the one that's got the ability to lead. And you are the one that will be using your, um, you're going to be drawing the strength from your higher self, right? Now again, Leo comes up for you. Dear Sagittarius, I did mention Leo before with that Queen of Wands. Um, so we've got Leo and Pluto here. Wow. Let's take that uh, Ten of Cups. And we've got, there's the Five of Pentacles that I mentioned before. There was some sort of a cycle ending. Two people maybe looking at the glass half empty rather than half full, having a sense of lack, maybe because they can't see their blessings at this time. And Saturn says it's very karmic and timing is of essence here. Let's take another card. And we've got the King of Pentacles here, which is Taurus, mainly for me. Um, nevertheless, it could be any other earth sign. This could be a leader. Reminds me of the Hierophant very much so. Dear Sagittarius, I do feel that this is another side to you. Okay, another side to you. Where you're going from the Five of Pentacles, and I did speak of materialism. For some others of you, this could be a Capricorn energy. Too much work, not enough emotion. Too much work, not enough happiness where your emotions are concerned. Let's just move the cards up a little bit. Hopefully you could see that a little bit better. We go from the Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, which are six pentacles, and we've got them right here. Remember what I said, what goes around comes around. What you have given out will be coming back to you. And you are showing up as very stable. We know that the King of Pentacles it could be the father. A lot of people, families, I mean, family members depend on this King of Pentacles. This could be the transformation that you're going through.
Now, for others of you, this could be an earth sign that you are connecting with. Let's take that Eight of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. And we've got Page of Cups. So an offer coming in. For others of you, this is more an offer for more work. And we know that the King of Pentacles could also be someone external from you, dear Sagittarius, that could be joining your team. You could be partnering up, let's say, with this King of Pentacles who could be an investor if there's been a lack of funds in your business. Now, the King of Pentacles could be a father as well. Page of Cups could be a child. Page of Cups could also be an offer of love, but it can also be a, a some sort of an apology. Some of you may be hoping for an offer to come through. It's a very unexpected offer with that Page of Cups, and this could be happening at the time of, you know, um, or anything to do around work. Or whilst you are working hard, you may be thinking of offering your cup, dear Sagittarius. And this is going to be, this could even be the epiphany that your life is not only about, you know, doing, putting in the effort where work is concerned, but also where love is concerned. And you're starting at the page of cups. Let's take the high priestess. And we know that the page of cups is a message. Now, the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups we know is someone that's very slow moving. He's wearing a suit of armor, whereas the Page is not. He's not protecting himself. Let's take a look at the High Priestess. And we've got the Four of Wands. Dear Sagittarius, Four of Wands can mean marriage. It can mean the time of the end of summer, September. September, right? Because... We know that the grapes are ripe. That's when the grapes are picked to make the wine. Okay. And this is a time of celebration and harvest. Okay. This can also mean, yes, a marriage, a commitment, a party, a family get together that you may be hoping to have with this high priestess. I feel that this high priestess, I do feel that she's very spiritual. Now on another layer, this is saying for those of you that are hoping for a commitment, we do have the Hierophant here. The high priestess, trust her intuition. You are trusting your intuition that if you are teaming up with this queen of, Pen uh, queen, queen of wands, sorry, that is right here. You've got the Queen of Rods, doesn't have to be a Leo. We've also got Virgo there with the Hermit. Libra is the general energy, which is partnerships. I'm going to take another card on that area. You're trusting in, in your intuition that there will be a celebration at the end of the day. And we've got the Three of Wands. So Three of Wands can also mean expansion and growth, but it can also mean... Threes. We've got the high priestess. She holds secrets. Could there be, could some of you have stepped out of a marriage? Because the high priestess holds secrets. Three of wands can be someone that's looking to the distance. Hoping to expand on their horizons. Where business is concerned, it's great. For sure. But threes can also speak of, yes, someone who's turned their back on a situation, but also someone who's wanting to, you know, travel the world. For those of you that are dealing with someone that could be somewhat at a distance to you, but you are hoping, you're trusting in your intuition that your ships will come in, whether this is business or whether this is romance. Now I'm going to I'm going to take the Queen of Rods, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. 
I'm going to take one message, Twin Flame Messages by Mystic Moon. And I want to see what the messages are from each of these characters. Let's look at the Queen of Rods, which is um, more than likely a Leo, more than likely a Leo. Your beauty still moves me. That could be the message that is towards the Queen of Rods. She is the one that's very attractive. And we've got the King of Pentacles looking straight at her. King of Swords is sort of turned backwards as well, as you could see in the cards here. Let's look at this King of Pentacles. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. There are, this card keeps showing up. There's a lot about honesty coming through. Let's look at the King of Swords. So this is a moment of truth with this King of Pentacles. Let's look at the King of Swords. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. For some of you, I suppose this could be the same person. Um, and it feels as though because we've got... We've got the King of Swords is sitting on the Nine of Cups. The King of Pentacles is sitting on the Ten of Cups. So I don't know what that means for you. Could mean that your King of Swords was your wish fulfillment, but that you've been in a committed partnership. Or that the King of Pentacles brings gives you all the happiness. You couldn't be even more happier with anyone than the King of Pentacles. So it's going to be different for each and every one of you, obviously. Okay, I'm going to take also for the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Rods, which is the Knight of Wands. You know who this is in your life. I feel that this is you, Knight of Rods. It's in the position of you. Let's take a message for him. And we have, I need more time to figure things out. And here comes the tower. He's thinking and an epiphany comes to him, no doubt. Let's look at that Knight of Cups, which is also holding that Nine of Cups plus the one he's holding, it's the Ten. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So this is someone, obviously, that's gotten away with something. All right, now these could be... Um, Things that have happened from the past coming back, you may be revisiting the past at this time. So what I'm going to do, dear Sag, is take a Moonology Oracle card and see what the message is for you. What's happening with the moon phases and how is it affecting you at this time? Let's take a card for Sagittarius, please, Spirit, Sag. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Let's read from the book. Okay. Okay. Beautiful card. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best, your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Now, additional meanings around this card. Just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. Also, don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward. Be patient as events unfold. 
dig a little deeper to find more courage that's very much with the strength card here now the waxing crescent moon is the second moon phase in the eight main f moon phases but even if it's not the time of the waxing crescent moon when you pull this card it still suggests you need to really pursue your dreams it's the time to put your foot down hard as you chase your goals okay so it does say have faith in your dreams so whatever you've been dreaming about keep the faith and trust look at the little butterfly there this does speak of transformation something is transforming and butterflies also are connections to spirit and the divine so dear Sagittarius I will leave you with that thank you so much uh, for liking sharing subscribing please watch your moon and your rising your Venus if you are female your Mars if you are male and also if you are familiar with your North Node please watch that okay thank you so much wishing you all the best bye for now